There is a group of flute players that is often forgotten and left behind. There are often not enough resources for them, opportunities for them, and frankly, I think sometimes they just get completely overlooked. For many years, I actually overlooked this group as well, or better said, I didn't even realize they existed. But as I started to see and recognize this group, I realized there is a huge, huge gap that we need to fix. So if you are part of this group today, I am shining some light on you guys. Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana. This is The Flute Practice, a space to help flutists like you learn and grow on the flute. Okay, so a little bit of background here before we get into this. Very commonly we speak about three big levels. We have our beginner level, we have our intermediate level, and we have our advanced level. Now I've done a whole video on how these very oversimplified levels are problematic and how we need much more nuance of levels. But basically here at The Flute Practice, we've actually filled in that beginner to intermediate level with three additional levels because there is a really big gap between beginner and intermediate flutist. I mean, a beginner player, you would expect to play Baba Black Sheep. An intermediate flutist, on the other hand, is probably playing Handel and Bach sonatas already. So to help fill in these gaps, we created the three levels, novice, then we have developing, followed by early intermediate. We've got a video down below where we walk through this in a lot of detail. We explain exactly what each level is and show you how you can identify what level you're at. But for today, I want to shine a light on a really specific group within that space between beginner and intermediate. And that is our early intermediate players, specifically our adult early intermediate players. Okay, first of all, how do you know if you are an early intermediate player? Well, the most basic way to know is if you're just not quite managing that intermediate material. So you've practiced and played things that are supposedly intermediate and it's just out of your reach. But other distinguishing features, you can play quite comfortably up to that third register, F, G, maybe even branching out to that high register, A and B flat already. You know your scales up to two, three, maybe even four sharps and flats already. For some of you, you might not know any of your scales yet and you're still part of this group, so don't let that be the determining factor. Your tone is coming along, but it isn't quite that like full, rich, round sound that you hear from other players. Probably haven't yet started learning things like vibrato or double tonguing or any of that. And most likely you probably feel a little bit like you've hit up against a wall. You were progressing, things were going okay, and then suddenly you hit this wall. Okay, so let's dig into what the problem is here specifically. There are a lot of beginner resources. To be fair, there are even some halfway decent resources for this group, but they are often fairly limited, or they're designed for children, or they're like made up of predominantly just pieces of music or collections of pieces of music for you to play, which is great. But something that I've noticed about this group is that they are often incredibly hungry to learn and really determined to make progress. And they'll do almost anything to make that progress. So many of you have heard me speak time and time again about what I call the five pillars or the five key elements that you need for good practice. Those are scales, technical exercises, long tones, studies, and pieces. And in many of these beginner resources, you're just not going to find these five elements, perhaps bits and pieces of it, but not as clearly defined as you find in, for example, your lovely Tafanil Gobert exercises or your Della Sonorite by Marcel Moyes, all these wonderful exercises that I know so many of you want to be working with, but then you hit the next big problem. These look and feel really scary. I mean, <laughs> look at this technical exercise. It is terrifying. And this study is supposed to be an easy study. Right, Kola, easy. <laughs> it's definitely not easy. So there is just very little out there that is really tailored to your level. Now, why is this so important? Well, here's the thing. I really believe that in order to make progress on the flute, you need resources that are tailored to your level. You need to work with resources that are challenging enough that they push you just a little bit, but that are not so challenging and overwhelming that they make you want to quit. As an adult player, you want to and are willing to do the things that our more serious professional players are doing. You don't really want to just be playing pieces out of children's books, which again is wonderful. I have prescribed lots of children's books for my adult students and they love them. I love them. But 
They're not really the things that are going to make you grow and push you. The early intermediate phase is a really crucial phase on your flute journey. It's the space where we really set you up with good technique, with good hand position and breathing and use of your body and all of these things so that you can tackle those more advanced levels. Very often students will find that they kind of progress and progress and then suddenly hit that wall when they get to this level because there are many of these foundations just missing. But there just aren't any resources out there, so what on earth are you supposed to do? Well, I guess you go back to the beginner resources and continue working with those, or you try the intermediate resources that are really scary and overwhelming, but either option is not really going to help you grow. We need something to help build the bridge between these two phases, and as a teacher, I have been incredibly frustrated that there is just not a lot out there. This results in students feeling really demoralized, demotivated, often just kind of feeling stuck at that level or becoming on again, off again flutists where they kind of start and stop and start and stop or even worse, they just give up altogether thinking, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm the problem, maybe I'm just not cut out for this. And this problem, I think, goes even a little bit deeper. I was at NFA last year, the biggest flute convention in the US, and I have to tell you that this group of players was incredibly underrepresented. There were very little workshops catering to this group. There were very little resources catering to this group. Like the flute choir stuff was really advanced and having a few students there who were less advanced, they kind of felt like they didn't belong there or that they weren't really invited. And I feel like nobody in the flute community should feel like they're not invited. <laughs> like you're a flutist too. You are part of our family and we should be including you. Okay, I am maybe being a little bit dramatic here. You can tell I'm passionate about this. <laughs> but let's get to some solutions and what we can actually do about this. So there actually are some resources out there. So this is a really lovely one. Holding it upside down. This is what, 125 classical studies. We've got the 76 graded studies for flute by Paul Harris. Really lovely books and I've used them countless times with my students. Now, the problem with these books, while they are great, is that they range from beginner level all the way through to that intermediate level. And they do tend to move pretty fast, if I have to be honest. With most students, we work with them a little while and then we usually get stuck at a certain point and we kind of have to divert to different materials. And that's fine. There's probably no perfect study book out there. Some great resources to at least help. When it comes to technical exercises, this is where I sit at a bit of a loss. So... As a teacher, I decided to do the only logical next best step, which was to just create my own resources. And that is exactly what I have done. Over the last two years, maybe even three years, I've spent countless hours finding nice studies for this group of players, finding technical or adapting technical exercises so that they're easier and more manageable, and in some cases, just creating my own technical exercises and long tone exercises. And we've started putting these resources together in this all-in-one practice resource, which we call Let's Practice, which gives you everything from your scales, your technical exercises, your long tones, your studies, and your pieces all in one space. But I didn't just stop there because I really wanted to create something that really supports and serves this group of players. I really want to see you go to that grown-up flute phase and have all the right foundations in place to help you excel once you get there. So I started building a fully-fledged learning program around this resource. Each month, through pre-recorded video lessons, I actually teach you through this resource, help you learn your scales, teach you through the technical exercises and help you learn key important new techniques help you improve your tone with the long tone exercises, help you discover the joy of learning a study from beginning to end, step by step in a process that makes it really, I think, dead easy, as well as learning your pieces using a similar approach. The goal of the program is for me to really step into your practice room and almost practice alongside you, which is why we have called this practice program, Let's Practice Together. And I'm thrilled to say that students in this program have actually said it feels like I'm looking over their shoulder and practicing alongside them, which makes me really happy to hear, <laughs> since that was actually our goal. Now we are about to launch the early intermediate leg of this program, 
We actually already launched the novice leg of this program a couple of months back. Developing players, you're gonna have to just be a little bit patient still. <laughs> We're getting to you. The goal is that with all our learning programs, you will eventually be able to go from that beginner level all the way through to that intermediate level in a beautifully cohesive system that helps you to get the right technique, the right foundations, and really learn how to play this instrument well. There is a link down below. You can go learn more about that program there. But here is what I do want to say. To you less advanced players, I want to just say, I see you. I see you. I hear you. And you deserve to be a part of this flute community. Okay, if you want to get your hands on some useful practice resources that I think will actually be ideal for your level, you might want to go and watch this video and download that practice resource that goes along with it. Otherwise, go ahead, sign up for the program right over here, and I'll see you guys over in the next video.